viewers a lot of aspiring candidates who want to enter into this uh, laboratory have been asking me whether i should take a dmlt or a bmlt both a lot of parents have also asked us whether i should uh, make my son or daughter study dmlt or bmlt what are the difference and how can i go about it so this video is mainly going to give you a clarity on what is the major differences of going into a dmlt that is a diploma course in medical laboratory technician and the bmlt that is the bachelors in the medical laboratory technician both of them first thing it is good and best if you have a 12th pass degree of course for a bmlt that is the bachelors you need a 12th pass science degree and for the dmlt certain you know state board affiliation uh, courses are there in which even they also take a 10th pass but according to me according to the curriculum what you're going to go through in both these courses it is the best if you have a 12th pass degree in the science stream second point how many years are these courses a bmlt that is the bachelor's is a three year program the dmlt is a two year program coming on to the next major differences is regarding the curriculum of course in both the dmlt and the bmlt you have all the clinical pathology clinical bi biochemistry microbiology uh how to you know uh, you know uh, run the laboratory all these are there the most main difference here is the management of the laboratory laboratory management and histopathology is mainly concentrated only in a bmlt that is a bachelor's in mlt a dmlt only the technical aspects of how to run each test in various departments is only taught so if you want to be a lab manager if you want to go higher post in your laboratory curriculum in your laboratory field it is better you take a bachelor's of mlt if you have only a dmlt then you can be a lab technician only you will be starting as a assistant lab technician and then going on to a lab technician going on to the next thing what is best to get into the government service always it is best if you have a bachelor's in mlt so these are the preferred candidates for the government institutions than the dmlt what are the various aspects in which i can excel or go ahead after doing these courses if you do a bachelor's in mlt you can of course do a masters in mlt and if you have a diploma you can again do a bachelor's in mlt or there are direct master mlt courses after a diploma in medical laboratory technician course also going on to the next most important point if you want to be in a teaching institution if you want to be a professor for students then only if you have a bachelor's in mlt you will be accepted a dmlt is not eligible to go and teach other students in a good affiliated institute so these are the main differences between a bachelor's in medical laboratory technician and the diploma in medical laboratory technician courses if you have any doubts of what to take to go ahead with your life you can always write to us at patlabstartup@gmail.com or you can always whatsapp us at 994002765 and uh, we help uh, people across the globe you know to start the laboratory business and also grow the laboratory business even if you want help or guidance in this kindly write to us this is dr lalita said that see you tomorrow with an other exciting video with very new information in the laboratory technology signing off dr lalita said